Each month in the developing world, five million people move from rural areas to cities. This is the largest human migration in history. And when people move from the hinterlands to these burgeoning cities in the developing world, they encounter snippets of the developed world that they've never seen. Um, so for example, when I was in Bangalore last month and was at the uh, o o grand opening, red, car red carpet opening of the first Krispy Kreme, the suburbs of Beijing, you have a, a gated community called Orange County, built to look like Orange County, California. So the idea of the book is to take the long view of this, that, that these snippets of, of the West have been appearing in certain parts of the developing world for 300 years. And I start the story with St. Petersburg, which is built to look like Amsterdam and involves the importation of uh, Dutch goods, Dutch people, Dutch architects, Dutch forms, and ultimately Western European forms more generally, uh, and sets Russia on this path towards the modern world with, with all of its successes and failures. Then I look at Shanghai and Mumbai. These are Today, the, we, we know the gateways to India and China, but they were built as gateways to India and China beginning in the mid-19th century, built to look uh, like the colonizers who, who occupied them, including actually the United States, which had a colony in Shanghai that I knew very little about till I started writing the book, and unfortunately, most Americans still know very little about. I chose them all because they were such pure case studies. Each of them, at least initially, undergoes such rapid development almost from nothing. I mean, in St. Petersburg, it, it truly is a swamp with a Swedish fort, and the Swedes are evicted. I mean, it's truly ex nihilo. Dubai was a tiny city in a, in a giant desert, uh, and within the past 10 years, three quarters of that city's urban fabric has been built. Um, Shanghai and Mumbai were small regional market towns. Um, the foreign imperialists who took them over and subsequently began this, turning them into world megacities, often downplayed the size of them before the, before the Westerners showed up. And the processes that I, that I think we can see historically in these handful of cities that I'm focusing on are now viral. They're now going on in cities all over the world. Mm -hmm.